everybody, my name is Mark Gill. This is Mark's on the Grill. Uh, let me tell you something as I'm checking to make sure that we are live and happening and everything's all cool. If you are a uh, foodie, if you are an outdoor cooking uh, uh, aficionado, if, if, if you just you, you, you love grilling, you love outdoor entertaining, and, and even more so, if you love wood-fired pizza, like the real thing, like the, like the Lombardi-style oldest pizzeria in the country type of thing, You've stopped on the right. You got to stop swiping for a second here. So let me go ahead, like I said, and just make sure that we're on because I don't want anybody to miss this. We going? Excellent. All right. So uh, we're not going to. You'll notice here. I don't have a whole bunch of food out. That's not what we're doing this time. I wanted to take this uh, this time and really show you something kind of cool. So I'm going to hang on for one second until a few people pop on and say hi. Uh, uh, Jason Allen, hello. Benjamin Hall, love that you're here, man. Ben's been with us for, from the beginning. Uh, Trike Dave is watching. Wade Akers has been with us for so long. I think both those guys have won something. Hi, Jenna. How's everybody doing out there? Oh, I love watching your stuff. He's, he's just kicking it, man. He is so kicking it. I'm telling you what, you guys, you guys are doing great. Uh, uh, David Davidson is watching. Sean is watching. I love it. Uh, so listen, guys, if you're not familiar with our show, or, uh, you, you know, kind of where I came from or what's going on. I've been working with, uh, uh, you, you know, kitchen products, uh, selling this kind of stuff for like, I don't know, 25 years. And kind of the last 15 specifically in the grilling and smoking category. And kind of what we do on the show here is, uh, you know, this is kind of our playground. This is where we uh, try out new recipes, uh, all kinds of new equipment. This is where we get to know a lot of our clients and our vendors and a lot of you guys that are watching here. We, we love it when you pop in. Uh, Tom, hey Tom, how's it going? Uh, who else have we got popping in here? Jim Sutter, hello from Urbandale, Iowa. Billy Anderson's watching. Jake's watching. Hey man, how's it going? Jordan is watching. Alex is watching. I love this, you guys. By the way, as we get into this, uh, if you didn't know, we are giving away our big Green Mountain Grill smoker here. We'll get into this in a second here. Uh, we'll make sure to throw a link down at the bottom. So anyway, like I said, uh, this is our playground. We play around with recipes. We play around with new equipment. I got to tell you, over the last 15 years, I don't know, eight, nine, ten countries, well, you know, wherever it is we've been. I've seen a lot of neat stuff, man. I've seen some uh, some really cool accessories. Uh, the reason for accessories is so that you can take something kind of basic like your flat top or basic like your smoker and keep taking those steps towards that, uh, uh, I don't know, the holy grail of whatever experience you're looking for in that style of cooking. And, you know, with outdoor for the longest time, it was smoking because smoking used to be done just, you know, exclusively on these giant offset smokers that we've got there. Trish, come have a closer look. I got to say, this one of the best presents ever. This one here when it rolled up. Uh, you, know, you know, and this was like a, it was a pretty unique, special club to be in to know how to work these things and keep that temperature proper for, you know, a crazy amount of time. And then we started getting into um, uh, the, the, the cabinet style smokers. Like here, we'll, we'll, we'll show you how the sausage is made. Turn around there. There's our master built. That thing has seen some miles, baby, and it is still cooking. So that's kind of one of the first smokers that came out that let you get that offset smoking experience without it sitting there and trying to learn how to control temperature over the course of 18 or 19 hours in different kinds of woods and oh my goodness that's why everybody's you know was striving towards all of this great smoking equipment Traeger came out uh, with that with the pellet grills and holy moly it just exploded they're everywhere and now it's almost difficult to tell the difference sometimes because at its core they do the same thing wood pellets Go a little longer, go into a firebox, make smoke and heat. I mean, we're, we're, we're there, right? <laughs> Brand specific, we're kind of there. So what they've done is they've put a little bit more time and attention and care into the, 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 the extra stuff that makes the experience better for you, just that much easier. You know, that's, that's all what we're looking for here. Let's be honest, that's the selling point of these things. Turn it on, stick in uh, a 27-pound brisket, and go watch the ball game. You didn't know you used to be able to do that. And the other area that they really try and, uh, you know, max out uh, this experience is in their accessories. So you'll see different flippers. You'll see uh, little raised things that create, like, a convection environment there. You'll see a dome on there that melts the cheese. On something like this, you might see a couple of accessories that do ribs or kebabs or something. But the ultimate, and I'm telling you right now, the, the next, kind of the next holy grail of outdoor cooking uh, since this came out has been wood-fired pizza, all right? And a lot of companies take a swing at this. They really do, and some big ones too. We'll show you how the sausage is made again. Have a look here. The big green egg, you kidding me with this? This is some of the best pizza you'll ever have. However, you best, you best, you best be ready 
for the learning curve and babysitting and trying to control that temperature, a small window of the right amount of heat, on and on and on. The results are there, but it's tricky, okay? The other thing that you can do, and by the way, it's also not all wood fired. It's like jumbo lump charcoal, and then you put the wood chunks on top of it, and you kind of get kind of that mix in there, okay? You got these things. These things will come with inserts, all right? I got to tell you something right now. If you're looking to duplicate that outdoor wood fire pizza experience, and you're using something with propane, you're going to taste that. It's not the real deal, man. It gets you there. It's like, it's like pizza tofu. Know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, what? Are, oh, these things. There's a company out there called uh, 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 Kettle Pizza. They've got these inserts. Now listen, this is one of them. It ain't bad. All right. I can't remember what this is. It was like 200 bucks, 250 bucks, whatever it was. And what this does is it's a spacer for your kettle grill. So you've got your Weber grill. You put the charcoal down there, and then you put the little screen, and then you put this on top, and then you put something in there, and then you put a stone. And then you do this, and then you also need to know to create a snake pattern uh, 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 of wood and charcoal all around the outside, so you only get fire from here to here, up around the back, which then goes up over the dome. And because you're using charcoal briquette, briquettes, you've got maybe a window of, oh man, 20 minutes? You got a 20 minute sweet spot of making pizza. And then once that once that's done, so you know a little bit longer with the green egg. But now you got to refuel. That's not easy, baby. To try and get all that hot stuff off. The whole point of this is to hit 800 degrees. Now it's starting to cool down. You got to mess with 800 degree metal. Holy cow! So guys, listen. Again, if you're if you're stopping in, I'm kind of letting a lot of people get on here because I want to. And, and do me a favor, you guys. If you are uh, if you love the cooking in the outdoors, if you, if you got friends and buddies. Uh, that, that love that experience with you. Make sure you tag them. Make sure they see this. Make sure you share this video. Make sure as many people as we can get to see this thing because in my 15 years of working with grilling and outdoor cooking products and smokers, this is, come here, without a doubt, the best accessory I've seen for a grill or a smoker or any piece of outdoor equipment across the gamut of brands that I've run with. But I'm just a pizza fan, okay? So this, this, that's my qualifier if you like pizza, okay? So listen, uh, it comes in a beautiful box, and this is it. There's nothing complicated about it. There's literally four pieces. That was a nice little tune, ready? Four pieces. That's all there is to this. So I was going to get into a whole unboxing, but seriously, there it is, okay? So now, if you have a Green Mountain Grill smoker, all right, when you open this up, Basically, come on over here. Come on over here. Let's have a look here. Let's see if we get our get our lights in there as we say hello to Michael. And uh, oh, Wade says he loves the cookbook. Sure, uh, sure appreciate that. Rocky Passmore is watching. Randy Tucker's watching. So normally, I would have my little firebox in there, right? And I'd have my little shelves there, and we we smoke brisket, we smoke this, we smoke that. But these guys at Green Mountain Grills, man, this is the most ingenious thing I've ever seen. Watch this, okay? So what we're gonna do? This little guy is the only thing that, uh, that that fits somewhere, inserts somewhere. There's no screws, there's no bolts, there's no this, there's no that. There's three little uh, kind of tabs there. Watch. <laughs> Woo, we're done. I'm gonna take a second. That was, that was quite the assembly. <laughs> That's seriously it. So now, we're gonna turn this over, and, and you can probably guess by now that this is gonna go in to the round part of the firebox where the auger feeds the wood pellets, all right? I mean, I mean it just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find something to talk about here. It's really that easy. Uh, the, the little shelf in the back here, make sure this is towards the back. Come on over here, Trish. You kind of maybe try, you know, get down in there again. Get down on it. Here we go. So this <laughs> is just going to fit right there. I'm sorry, but holy crap, we're done. <laughs> Are you kidding me with this? So now we're going to take this pizza stone, John from Alberta, next to... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to take a break here. We'll edit this out later. This is a, the beauty of, uh, of this show. John Atrell, I hope he's, I hope maybe he's a first-time watcher. Hello from Alberta, comma, next to Saskatchewan. I love you, my man. I'm, I'm, I'm a Saskatoon boy. I know the exact geographical position of Saskatchewan as it relates to Alberta, although I do appreciate that. <laughs> Jordan uh, is watching. Lane is watching. Kevin's watching. Mark Bowden. Mark Bowden's in Saskatoon. I love that guy. I gotta tell you, man, me and Mark go back to, uh, you wanna be in pictures. 
in the Mall of Lawson Heights in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. I'm sitting there with my, my big ass Xerox or whatever kind of printer it was that Mark Serviston worked on making calendars and mugs and t-shirts. Holy lifetime ago. So now the pizza stone is very important, okay? It's custom made for it. There's only one right way that it goes in. You're going to notice if you put it in backward or, or the wrong way this way. So come on over and have a look. This just slides in just like that. Oh my God, this is so cool. All right, and the lid, we're done, you guys. I'm serious, man. We're done. Look at this. There is, I'll say it again, <coughs> one of the most, if not the most, ingenious outdoor grilling and cooking accessories I've ever seen. Because here's what happens, okay? If I'm using a big green egg, I got jumbo lump charcoal and I got wood chunks. If I'm using that thing, I got propane. If I'm using my kettle pizza, then I've got charcoal briquettes, wood in a C pattern, and I have a time limit, okay? Because all of that heat is underneath everything I'm working with. Come here. The heat's underneath what I'm working with, but I control it here. So think about that. A never ending heat supply, and not just any heat supply, not like uh, you know charcoal that might leave a taste or uh, a propane that's gonna leave a taste. No, 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 it's wood, guys. It's wood. That's what pellets are. They're wood, and you can change the flavor of the wood: hickory, oak, alder, apple, cherry. You name it, man. I'm I'm out of them, right? So it's not like a hybrid. It's not like it's not like a, a partial way there. No, no, no. This is the twenty thousand dollar backyard pizza oven. You hearing me on this? This is the $20,000 backyard pizza oven that I never have to throw more wood in. And here's the, here's the best part. As good as it's been so far, here's the best part. In order to get that stone and this cooking area up to anywhere between 650 and 850 degrees, temperatures that aren't imaginable on standard home smokers, in order to do that, I only have to set this at about 250 to 275 degrees. So let me say that one again, okay? If I want this, because of the way this handles and generates heat, convection, conduction, and radiant, because I want that heat to be in here at 650 to 850 degrees, which gives me that pizza finished in 90 seconds to two minutes with that bubbly, crunchy crust that you only see at wood-fired pizza joints, all I have to do is set that at 250 to 275 degrees, the same temperature I would slow smoke a brisket at, and this guy has an 18 pound hopper. So I've gone from a 20 minute sweet spot to a 10 hour sweet spot. Are you feeling me with this? So guys, here's what we're gonna do, all right? Uh, we're gonna finish up uh, getting this all ready. Uh, I'm gonna go and get all, uh, all the fun stuff that I need for this. And I want you to join me back here tomorrow. Not sure of the time yet, so hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that whatever it is that hits that little bell so you know we're back. And we're gonna have four or five just fantastic pizzas ready to go here, man, with that, that awesome crust and just the, the, the freshest toppings. And we're gonna do it just like they do it at these places like Lombardi's that have been turning these out for a hundred years, man. It's the original, this is it. This is wood-fired pizza, fast, easy, efficient. And I mean, holy cow, I can't even. I just can't even. And by the way, we are giving one of these away on the 31st of July. Tomorrow's the last day to get in the draw, so we'll throw that down there. Guys, that's it for tonight. Thank you so much, Kevin and Barry and uh, Susan McGill. She loves us on HSN. And I, oh, oh, you know what? I appreciate that so much. John Austin, Mark Addison, Brian, Clint Long, Mac Hexter, Scott McLaughlin, Frank, and guys, thank you so much for being a part of Marks in the Grill. We love, uh, we love it so much. Uh, thanks for joining us on this one. I'm, I'm telling you. If you know somebody with the Green Mountain Grill, you, you got to tag them in this. Guys, my name's Mark Hill. This is Marks in the Grill. We will see you tomorrow with some fabulous pizzas. Bye.